Welcome! In this video, we're going to go over different user profile options. So how we can access our user profile is at the top right corner of our screen, we'll see an email address. We click on that, and then the profile button, that will take us into our personal user profile. And also, from the left-hand vertical toolbar, there is the user icon. We go to All Users, and we find our name in the list and click on our email. That will also take us into the user profile or the user profile that we select. So a couple of different things that I want to point out here. You'll notice there's tabs across the top here. We'll start out by going over the account tab. So any information that we want stored in here relevant to this user, like date of birth, pay rate, start date, whatever the case may be, their license number, contact information, we can store all of that here. Can also change the password for this user as well. Can keep track of their mailing and physical address. Any notes that we have about this user would be here. If we wanted to upload a copy of, let's say, this user's state license, we could do so here in Media Files by clicking Add. Same thing would be the case if we wanted to keep track of commissions by user. Simply click the Add button on the commissions box. We could select the policy type that we want. There's several to choose from. And we can input the percentage that they get for new business versus renewals, or if they get a flat amount, we can input that here as well. Notice there's also a preferences tab here. So options that we have here would be to turn on two-factor authentication when logging in for this user, if that's what we would like. Also, we can upload a user signature here if you have one already stored in your computer, or we also have the capability to draw a signature here as well. So we can do that here. And then download. And then find the file in our computer. And upload. And then this signature would be in here and would go on things like receipts and also certain accord forms as well. There's a certain signature that we would like on our email and text that we're sending out to our clients from inside the Genesis Now system. We could put that in here. Can also create email templates for any emails that we find ourselves sending out on a regular basis. And those would appear in our drop down menu here. The template name will not appear to the client in the email. That's just basically for your notes. They would see what's in the subject bar though. And if you want this template to be usable by others at your agency, you would simply click share template agency wide. So you'll notice here at the bottom, there are tan boxes with brackets. So let's say we wanted the client's first name to be in this message. We could simply click on that, come to the body of our message here, and on our keyboard, we would type control and the letter V as in Victor, and that would automatically insert the client's first name into our message. And then once we have our template like we like it, then we could save it and it would be a stored template for us to use going forward. Also, you'll notice there are credentials in here that we can input and you would definitely want to make sure credentials are in here for any systems that you would be using that integrate with Genesis Now, like for instance, Imperial Premium Finance, the Raider system, WeSignature, or Carrier websites, you can store that information in here. You can add in new credentials by coming up here to add a new credential, and you can have those stored all in one place here. Email integration, we go over in another video, so you're definitely going to want to make sure you check that out on YouTube. This is user profile options. Hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.